Ooh, juicy one. You guys like the jerseys? You know, when you think of the Yankees back in the day, it was Jay-Z wearing the Yankees hat. And I think having someone like Justin Bieber associated with the team who doesn't just pop in to do a commercial, a guy that genuinely loves hockey. It's uh, great for the game, great for the sport, and great for the Maple Leafs. I, I can see kind of the joy it's bringing a lot of the young fans here in this building already. NHL GMs were busy on the eve of trade deadline. Nine deals completed yesterday, but still a lot of valuable assets on the board. Dubas has been pretty steadfast in that he's not willing to pay a first-round pick for rentals. But they did land a big fish in Mark Giordano, the former Flames captain and Kraken captain, along with Colin Blackwell for three picks. Not only is it trade deadline day, but it's also World Down Syndrome Day. And while Leafs management is busy working the phones, the team is taking to the ice, rocking their two different socks at practice in support of World Down Syndrome Day and member of the Maple Leafs training staff, Pete Flagler. So what will the day bring for the Leafs and across the league? Only time will tell. I want you to get the list. And then shape it. Tier one, tier two, okay. tier three. Seven. Tier seven is no interest. Tier six yeah. is developmental project. Seven, no interest. Seven. Five. It's be higher than that. Four is like high, high probability, low, 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 high, high, high upside, low probability. Three. Three. He's going to drive offense, Mike, like a two? Like a two, you're talking second line player. Right? Uh, well, three for sure. Three. He's got a chance to play. Seven. Five. Six. Harry Sateri is being claimed on waivers. Oh, you're kidding. That's the way she goes. That is the way she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes oh, yeah. she doesn't. That's where we're at. Final. Tally in the trade season is adding Ilya Labushkin, Mark Giordano, Colin Blackwell, Carter Hutton, and a third in 2022 with uh, Nick Ritchie, Travis Dermott, second, second, third, and third going out. So obviously excited about the prospects of the rest of the year with our club and where we've come throughout the season. Everything we did was just to abide by the plan that we had and not be too reactive and not feel that because other teams were spending more or, or evaluating players differently that we had to react to that. So just stick with our plan and roll and, and we feel we stack up well against those clubs. What excites you most about Mark Giordano? The quality of player he, uh, he still is, is the, the most exciting part of it. We played against him a lot last year, obviously. And watching him this year with Seattle, a variety of different partners that they had him with, just still feel like he's got a lot left to, to give as a, as a player. His intelligence with the puck, his ability to move the puck up the ice, his ability to defend, and then secondly, just his competitiveness uh, and the way he defends and, and his ability to play against good players still and play both special teams and be versatile was really important to us. Yeah, I'll go with Hayes. So we're excited about that, but first and foremost, we brought him in because we think he's a very good player and going to help us a lot as a hockey team. Just because I'll switch every, yeah. every 10 minutes. Yeah. 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 I've always had a lot of respect for him as a player and having part of this deal I think is good for us and, you know because of, we do like the player but also you know it, it fits a lot of needs for us he's another very versatile guy he can play all three forward positions he can take face offs so it's another right-handed shot face off option for us you know to have another guy like that is very very good for us hey, how you doing Mitch? Hey, how you doing? welcome boys thanks man. Here we are, okay? the nonsense of yesterday passes, trade deadline is gone, and this is our group, right? Great welcome to Gio and Blackie here that have joined us, and this was our crew, right? This is our crew, we got the Marlies, we got guys down there, the guys will come up and, and up and down, all that kind of stuff. This is our crew, this is the group for us to go to work with the rest of the way. We got 20 games remaining, nice round number, 20 games remaining in the regular season for us to work with, 10 at home, 10 on the road, Okay, nice you can split all the way through. We're gonna play 13 different opponents in those 20 games. Blue, you're gonna track Pierre, are you ready? 13 opponents. Of those opponents, four. Four of the 13 are currently in playoff positions. 
Okay, but of those four, we're playing them nine times. There are lots of reasons for us to get excited about our group and continue to work and continue to push you. Here's where we're at. Okay, this is where the standings sit. Right here today, the 20 games remaining for us. For me, we can still compete to win the division. We certainly can still compete to get home ice in the first round of the playoffs, but no one's going to hand it to us. It's not going to be easy. We're playing for a purpose, and that should be obvious in everything that we do, starting in today's practice and on into tomorrow's game. It's a message sending game for us. I mean, coming out of this straight deadline, and we are rolling in this last 20. Real fast-paced practice, so it was good to just get a little bit of chemistry, familiarity with some of the guys, and you know, haven't really skated in a couple days because of the travel and the trade deadline. So really good to just get my feet wet. There'll be a lot of energy, and, and you know, there'll be the butterflies and all that stuff, the nerves. But it's all how you use it. You, you can let it affect you in a negative way, but I'll try and harness it and turn it into a positive and go from there. It's been a team I've obviously followed my whole life. There's a lot of history, obviously, with this organization, uh, but it's pretty special to be able to say that uh, you're from here and you played for, for the organization. I think someone told me it's been 105 years since they've worn a jersey that color, so it's, it's kind of nice to be part of something, uh, something new like that, too. Toronto heads into the final 20 regular season games tonight against the New Jersey Devils with New Jerseys of their own. And the debut of two new acquisitions tonight at Scotia Bank, and one of them in the starting lineup. Toronto, Ontario, number 55, Mark It was pretty cool when they announced me the starting lineup, and uh, I got a pretty loud cheer. It's a bit of a welcome home for him, you know. As much as he's come here to play for the Leafs and all that, he's also a local guy that has had a very accomplished career. So I think it's a pretty special moment. We have some of the top players in the league on our team every night. You know, those guys have become more and more competitive. They become great two-way players in addition to just scoring, and sometimes that gets lost in the ups and downs of the year, but that's what we come in with every night, and I think the way that those players have matured, Austin, Mitch, William, Morgan, and you add a Giordano and, and Blackwell to it just in terms of the competitiveness of the group is, is, uh, is what makes me excited about the next stretch into the playoffs. Let's go! Holy Mackinac! Two shorties and the Leafs have the lead! And the Leafs celebrate a 3-2 win. Final I'm excited to be here and obviously excited that we, we got that win in my first one. It's a nice job, fellas. That's an important win for us. An important third period and adversity there. Great four-minute kill. Great job killing it and a great effort by Pierre to uh, get the win in there for us. So good for job. Beautiful job, beautiful job by Mickey on the one in the second period. That bails us out on special teams tonight. Nice job there, Peter. Nice job, Bob. Well done. That's an important win, fellas. Big weekend ahead. How about a day off tomorrow? Day off tomorrow. See you guys on Friday.